Hello you guys, it is a beautiful, sunny, but snowy, to, no, <laughs> not Tuesday, Wednesday. For some reason, this whole week I have been like thinking it is, well that was just the day before, but I've been thinking it's the day after. Like this whole week I kind of felt like it was Wednesday or Thursday, but today is Wednesday, but I still couldn't get it right. But welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm in a great mood because I'm going to a concert tonight and I feel like it's been a while since I've gotten to like an EDM show and I'm going to see Elderbrook tonight with two of my friends and I'm really excited. I just haven't been to a concert in a minute, especially an EDM concert and I just feel like I need it. Like I need to just be feeling that and just be dancing and be in a crowd and go out and so I'm really excited about that. So that's kind of a random Wednesday plan that's not typical but i want to try to give you guys like a little mini get ready with me i actually don't know what i'm gonna wear but i need to figure that out in a few hours it's march 1st so happy march you guys i'm really happy that it's march and that we're this is just gonna be a really exciting month i do actually have a good amount of plans for march so i'll tell you guys that as stuff is like coming up but happy march i'm excited that we're not so in the thick of winter and there's like spring to look forward to so yeah, I'm just feeling pretty good today. Um, definitely compared to my last vlog. I mean, who knows what will happen, <laughs> but I am feeling a little more pep in my step this week and just like my mood has overall been a little bit better and all that good stuff. I need to do something boring to start off this afternoon. By the way, I didn't start the vlog till like it's 2 p.m. now, but I have had a pretty productive first part of the day so far. I woke up and did a 10.30 Pilates class. That was good. Went to get a cold brew from Starbucks on the way home, treated myself, came home, um, had some breakfast slash lunch, and then I did my whole shower routine. I listened to a podcast. Probably not the best lighting, but I need to put you guys down because my arms are hurting, but I want to keep talking to you. Usually, I just start my vlog sitting down, so I don't know why I didn't do that. And then I took Squirtle on a walk to the park, and now I'm going to start doing stuff for my taxes, which I've already done some of my tax stuff I think for this year but like basic stuff like getting together my forms um from different brand deals and just all collecting all that I need to gather my business expenses which is usually the part that is like most expensive and takes the longest so I'm not really expecting or trying to finish that today but this week would be a good goal um because I am going out of town on Sunday and I just kind of want to get this kind of done so I'm headed upstairs to get my math tax hat on and uh do my taxes. It's relatable, okay? We all gotta do our taxes, so I gotta do it too. made this downstairs it does not look good but mostly because I got lazy and poured salsa verde on top at the end but this is just a refried beans chicken and a little bit of cheese quesadilla that I made really quick from leftovers last night okay hello I am trying on well I think this is what I'm gonna wear because I have this like really cute new jacket that I just got in my newly box that is like green and peachy colored I should have brought it up here but it's downstairs I'll put it on before I head out and show you guys, but this is the outfit I'm thinking of. I also got these pants in my newly this month. They're pretty comfortable. I feel like they're a pretty good fit. There's like an inch here, but I would rather that than them be too small and uncomfortable. And then I just have this top, which I think I just got this on Depop. I've only worn it to like one concert before. It just felt fun for tonight and I used some like fashion tape to try and keep my straps a little more up like this than like falling down so I feel like it looks pretty good um but I haven't put on my uh makeup or done my hair yet so if you're wondering We're not, it's not the complete look okay I worked on my taxes for like I think it was like two hours and now it's like five something I'm planning on leaving here at like 6 15 or 6 30 to meet up with my friend Kim um for drinks before the concert so I'm Hi, Squirtle. Squirtle's popped his head in. So I'm gonna do my makeup and hair. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair. I kind of wanna like try to do more hairstyles, but 
I feel like it's a little last minute to just like think of something. So we'll see how much time we have for hair. I usually do makeup first and then I do hair last. Okay, I'm doing my makeup. I just did my base so far. Um, so I just did a little bit. I did like a face oil because I've been really dry before putting on like foundation stuff lately and it's been looking so cakey. So today I did this like face oil from Flora and Bast. I don't know what it's called. I think it was a sample that they sent me and that seemed to do the trick. And now I'm like, I mean, I'm a little oily, but I'll put out some powder, but I'm not dry, which was my goal. Um, I also did a little bit of this. Is it say? I actually don't know how to pronounce that brand. The um, Star Glow, I, it's a glowy like gel moisturizer. I just did a little bit like on my cheeks. I really like this. I'll usually use this all over my face. Um, and then I did It Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow. I use this all the time. And then I used my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser under the eyes and a little bit on my zit here. <laughs> Zits, plural. This is like the only blush that I've been wearing for like the past year or something. The M Cosmetics like cream stick blush. I don't know what it's actually called. In the shade So Soft. It's like a beautiful peachy pink and a little goes a long way. It's very pigmented and I love having just like cream products on the cheeks and then doing like a highlight. I really don't even, in like the summer and stuff, I won't even like powder my face today. Like I said, I was just feeling a little bit oily and I'll probably get sweaty at the concert. So I'm just gonna do it. I will do some with my little beauty blender sponge under the eyes. I don't know the proper technique for like baking, but I literally just like shove it under, <laughs> shove it under there and wait. <laughs> like a minute and then I'll blend it out with a brush. <laughs> Is it sad that I don't know how to do that? That was like something that came out. I don't know if people even still do that actually. Like is that, are people not baking anymore? I don't really know. I don't watch like any makeup content. This is a palette from, I actually can't even remember the brand. M-O-B. I can't remember. I think it's like more of a sustainable makeup brand. I don't remember why I can't remember it, but this is just like a palette that's kind of it's very used. I love the bronzer, the eyeshadows. I mean, I love everything in this palette actually, but I really love the highlighter and the um, bronzer. So first, I would do a really light hand if I even ever apply bronzer because it can look really, like, it can look really tragic on me. So, I do, see, look, look, do you see that? What the hell is that? I put too much. Oh no, I really used too much. I thought I, oh God, that looks so bad. See, and then I'm like, I shouldn't have done it. Damn it. Okay, we're gonna. This is not what I would normally recommend doing, but I'm literally gonna take that off. I do not wanna, I do not wanna wear bronzer. Um, right now I am gonna fix this though. But I do love this highlighter and I am gonna actually use that. I always pretty much use the same highlighter when I do my makeup. I really need something on my lips. They're blending in so much. But I always do my lips last. Like, I'm gonna brush my teeth before I leave again. So, lips gotta be last. I don't even know how old this palette is. The Tartist palette from Tarte. It's probably so freaking old. But, and I still use this. She's the OG. Miss Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm always in a rush when I'm getting ready. Like there's never, even I could give myself two hours, which sometimes I do to get ready. Today I only gave myself like not enough time because I didn't factor in like that I was gonna have to put on this fashion tape and I plucked my chin hairs. I'll be honest with you before I start, before I turned on the camera. Anyway, I could literally give myself two hours and it would not ever be enough time and I would still be rushing. I'm gonna take this color right here. Kind of matches my pants. Sorry, you cannot see that. It's called Chic. And I'm honestly just gonna be really simple and put that all over the lid. And I might do something darker on the lower lash line. I don't got time for anything crazy tonight. Well, you can't even, that's not really even 
I'm gonna mix a little bit of this darker shade. I know people are like back into shimmery shadows. And I'll do it sometimes on the lid, but I'm still just stuck in this phase of like nudie mattes. If I even do, because for a really long time I didn't even wear eyeshadow. Um, it's totally stopped wearing eyeshadow. And now when I do my makeup, I will usually do eyeshadow, but it's like one color like this. But I think one color just all over can actually like do so much. Okay, I'm going to grab one of these shades like Whimsy or No Filter under my eye. Oh shoot, I, got, I went a little low. I went a little low with that one. Love that. Okay. Done with eyeshadow. Let's take a moment and have a little sip of my pregame cocktail. This is homemade lemonade, which you just need water, lemons, and simple syrup or sugar, a shot of vodka, and then topped it off with the um, raspberry rose poppy. I've made that, I, I know I've made that for you guys in a video recently. It's like my favorite easy cocktail recently. That's what I'm having right now. I love to do a little get ready with me like drink or wine before going out on like a date or whatever i feel like you guys know that it just makes the experience of getting ready like what's the word like an event more of an event also what is this has this looked like that the whole time y'all the claw clip betrayed me um okay now i'm going to curl my lashes and use my voluminous lash paradise primer and then y'all are gonna get a kick out of this one I feel like I have not shown this on my vlogs since I repurchased it. The gray lash, lots of lashes. This is still so good. It is probably the most lengthening separating mascara I've ever used. So I'm gonna fast forward this clip because I take a really long time to do my lashes. Um, but I'll show you, this is the before. <laughs> I'll show you that lots of lashes. I'm listening to some Elderbrook, by the way, obviously. I'm sorry, can we just have a moment? That is one coat. That is one coat. I do have the voluminous primer underneath. One coat of that. It is like crazy. finished eyes yeah i love that mascara you guys i feel like it looks better on on this side today these lashes are just better who has a better eye for lashes i feel like everyone does anyway um the only thing i haven't done is my lips and i will do that probably in the car jared's gonna drop me off and i have like my lipsticks in my purse so i am about to go do my hair i i don't have much time we're gonna leave in like 13 minutes classic i'm rushed so i think i'm just gonna crimp it i might put it like half up half down or like add some little braid in the side or something super easy i'm just gonna brush up which they're already kind of brushed up because they're laminated so they're staying really nicely but just brush up my eyebrows and sometimes i use a product on them to hold them in place but tonight i'm not going to because i don't really think they need it they're staying in place like very well because i just got them laminated like two weeks ago okay i'm running out the door really quick but this is the the jacket i was talking about it's from obey i'm renting it this month like i said and it's so fun and i thought it went perfectly with this and then these pants so final look jared's gonna drop me off and it's gonna be morning you guys it is actually friday now um i didn't vlog yesterday it was just kind of like we basically did nothing yesterday. Jared had the day off, so we kind of just slept in. And, I mean, I did do a few things yesterday. I did a little bit more work on my taxes. <laughs> Very vlog worthy. Um, I did go to Orange Theory. I actually took Jared's sister, Grace, to her first class. She had been kind of expressing interest and wanting to go for a while because she actually knows, like, one of the coaches. So we finally planned that. 
and she did really good we'll see if she wants to like do another class i'm definitely not gonna put any pressure her on anything but she did good so we did that and then jared and i did actually go on a little date which was nice because i wanted to it had been a while since we had had a date night i feel like and i wanted to do something before my trip um on sunday so we went to dinner and then we went to dave and buster's and i love dave and buster's like i just love it i just love playing the games and so we did that and that was really fun today i woke up early for me i had like a video call which i just finished like five minutes ago um chatting just about some like management things management team things i am getting my nails done today my toes and my fingers i don't know what i want to do i still have my valentine's day nails on which i have actually loved these specifically like well i love the design but i also really loved this milky pink color that i had it's very simple but i think it's really like nice and I just have liked it. I don't know what I'm gonna get and I don't wanna go in without a plan because I just feel like then I'll pick something that I'm not, you know? So I need to figure out what, what I'm gonna do for my nails. But I'm gonna do that in like a little over two hours. I wanna start my packing for my trip and um, plan like some outfits and stuff because I, I need to actually go in this closet and get some like spring summer clothes because it's gonna be pretty warm and I don't have any of that stuff out right now you know like shorts and stuff I'm gonna eat something and shower I don't know which one I'm gonna do first probably eat so let's have a little something today I'm having a delicious blueberry bagel with just some butter I love a blueberry bagel. I've been very into these ones lately. I started editing this vlog. I really don't have much footage so far. You can see I only have six clips total, but I wanted to start editing like the get ready with me part because it was like a 22 minute clip. Okay, I don't even know what I'm wearing today. This is just so, whatever. It's just a lounge fit. I was just did a tan and I'm still really like honestly sticky from the lotion. It takes like an hour or so to like really kind of not be sticky on your skin. So I wanted to wear something like black and then just kind of like a, I don't know, like a looser pant. But anyway, I am kind of rushing out the door. I'm going to go to my nail appointment. I think I'm going to bring my laptop because I never really do that. But like while I'm getting my pedicure, I feel like I might as well like do something work-wise. I think I'm just gonna do like a Barbie pink on my nails. I feel like that's just kind of what has been like calling to me. We'll see if I end up switching it up, but I think I'm just gonna do like a simple one color today. Okay, I came home to let Squirtle out and make a sandwich in between my appointments because I had more time than I thought. I had like almost an hour until my next appointment. So I was like, oh, I'm not gonna like hang out here like I was kind of planning to. So I came home, let him out and made a sandwich and it's, oh, it's beautiful today. Okay, I have to show you this creation. Presenting her. We got this everything bread, like everything French bread for sandwiches and it is so good. Jared and I are obsessed with it. Other than that, I just did really simple. I didn't even have tomato today. So I just did shredded lettuce, some pepperoncinis, pepper jack cheese and ham and a little bit of sauce. I'm gonna eat this super fast because I need to leave in 10 minutes to go back to get my actual nails done. I got blue on my toes by the way, but I'm not gonna show you that. But I am gonna eat this delicious, delicious sandwich.
here's my nails, by the way. Let me do a close up. I got this beautiful like Barbie pink. I've been eyeing a color like this for a really long time. I usually go a little lighter, but I thought this was just so fun for my vacation. And sorry, that's so hard to show you, but I got a little butterfly and a French on the thumbs, like a little butterfly sticker. I haven't vlogged really in a few hours. I kind of came home from my nail appointment. I was tired, so I was just relaxing for a little bit, and then I fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> I think just because I woke up early today, I don't know, I was just tired. So I had a little impromptu nap. I tidied up this level for the most part, which kind of needed to be done. You guys saw most of that. I cut the clip off at some point, but just finished doing that, and we're having some dinner. Um, Jared's kind of making most of it right now, but we're having like a lemon cream pasta. I've made it before. It's like a garlicky, lemony, creamy pasta sauce, and it's really good the last time I made it. I've only made it once, so um, we're making a quick version of that right now without roasting the garlic. And then, um... I might edit for like an hour just because I didn't end up doing that today. I also didn't end up starting my packing today, but I mean, it's always like a goal of mine to start my packing like not the day before a trip, like two days before, but a lot of times it just ends up happening the day before, which really isn't that big of a deal. I have time to, to do it tomorrow, so we'll actually pack together tomorrow. But I think I'll just edit for a little bit tonight, and then we're just probably going to watch Love Island and play our... Deal or no deal. <laughs> Hopefully it's fun. Um, that was kind of a random like prize that we found at Dave and Buster's. They have like honestly not that good <laughs> kind of stuff. Let me know what's like the best prize you guys have ever gotten there. They had these like collectible squish models, but they were so small. It, it looked like a keychain and it was in like a lunchbox and they were seriously like almost 5,000 points. And we had like I think we had 2700 and that was playing for like two hours like playing a lot of games trying to get points so i don't even that would have been so expensive so i don't know i guess i'm glad i didn't get one of those you but just look those up online, yeah i bet they're like 20 dollars yeah, so it's been like 85 dollars it day. would have been so much yeah i'm excited to eat this pasta let's go uh let's go over and investigate what's going on in the kitchen hello chef Hello. Got some penne in there. Here's our lemon zest, which is really the key to getting that lemon flavor. Garlic. We'll also use lemon juice. And, oh yes, some freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano. This is like if you're trying to fully... Saturday and I have a gigantic zit. Let's just show you in the light, okay? Yep, there she is. I have like actually a few. I'm having a full breakout right here. Um, I've really been trying to treat my zit for the past like two days. It showed up on, I mean, Wednesday or Thursday. It's like an underground one. The big one that I've been trying to work on, I've been using zit stickers. I've been using tea tree oil. It just is not really changing. It's one of those like underground ones that's just kind of difficult. So yeah, she's prominent this week. Anyway, it's Saturday. I kind of just had a slow morning. I'm going to do some editing on this vlog because I just need to. I don't want to do it all tonight and I want to um, export this and schedule it to go up while I'm gone. So I need to finish it by tonight because um, I leave early tomorrow morning and then we'll finally do our packing together. I want to show you guys what I got in my newly box. I also just had some shoes come in the mail which I wasn't expecting to come before my trip so I'll show you guys those and we'll kind of like plan some outfits together and stuff. Okay, I want to make my current favorite for coffee with you guys it's an oat milk cappuccino and i've been making it hot which is pretty surprising because i feel like i don't make a lot of hot drinks on here but it's just been so cold and that's kind of just been the vibe in the mornings lately just 
it's been so cozy and I seriously found like the most amazing way for me personally to make my perfect hot coffee drink. So I actually forgot that we put it in this cup because we were cooking last night with the silk dairy-free heavy cream. I think I've showed it to you guys before. I know I sh shared it on my Instagram story, but we like finished it off last night and then I was like, no, Jared used like a cup of it. And I asked him if he could save some for me because I don't like being without it and I can just go buy another one. But anyway, he put some of it from the cup back into here. But that's what this is. It's the Silk Dairy-Free Heavy Cream, which I actually hadn't really used it in my coffee. I was using it more um, in recipes, which it's just so good, you guys. I'll share it in like my next grocery haul or something. I'll show you like what it looks like, but I've only been able to find it at Albertsons, which is owned by Kroger. So um, any of those stores like Safeway, Kroger, all those, they should have it. Um, I'm not sure about other stores. Then I use just an extra creamy oat milk. This one's the Planet Oat one, which I, it actually has been growing on me. I used to not really like this as much as the Chobani one, but for my coffee, this one's actually been working pretty well, but my ultimate favorite is still the Chobani one. So, an oat milk, I basically combine these and I'll show you how I do it. Sorry, the FedEx man. I feel like the lighting is completely trash, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing a little bit. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is brew a double shot of espresso. And I'm also going to use this caramel syrup. You could also use simple syrup or nothing. But I've just been using three little, I'm going to say three pumps and that sounds like a lot. But this thing pumps out like the littlest bit. It seriously is like, that was not even a lot actually. It's the littlest amount. It's probably like a quarter of a teaspoon what it ends up pumping out but it's just like a little something that I'll mix with my espresso shot this already looks so good <laughs> look at the little cow in my mug so that's a double espresso shot it looks absolutely delicious now here's the best part so I mix oat milk and the silk dairy-free heavy cream i use probably about a tablespoon of this i don't really recommend using much more than that because it is thick but it adds so much to because i'm going to froth it and with the oat milk it's the perfect combination of like a nice thick foamy froth for a cappuccino so y'all know my milk frother is like my holy grail i use this every single day i have the keurig one you can do a cold or a hot froth it's absolutely a game changer like i don't even remember what i was doing for my coffee before having this so i'll do about a tablespoon maybe even a little less of that because like I said, it is thick, it's dairy-free, but you don't want to go like insane with that. And then I'll just fill up probably a third of a cup-ish, depending on how big I want my cappuccino or how much milk. I'll probably do around a third a cup of just regular oat milk. Okay, so that's mixed together in there. We're going to put the lid on, obviously. If I wanted it iced, I would just do the cold froth, which is what I do a lot. But like I said, I have been enjoying the cappuccino lately. So let that go for a couple of minutes. All right, this is my frothed milk. And now we're going to cover up my cow. Perfect. How good does that look, you guys? I mean, I don't know how to do like latte art yet, right? Like foam art. But it is the perfect creaminess it's so good it's like lightly lightly sweet but this is my iconic oat milk cappuccino it's so it's so good you guys this is my absolute current obsession lately i've been looking forward to having this every day so good all right hi guys i have been starting my packing and trying to just like get together some outfits and um i'm trying on some of the stuff that i got in my newly box this past week and I wanted to show you guys some of it, but this is one of the things, but I'm a little disappointed with it, honestly, just the fit of it. I do really like this dress, and I feel like I picked my size pretty 
accurately. I was debating in between a small and a medium. I usually wear mediums in dresses, but I was reading some of the reviews and it said like I could be either one. So I decided to go with a small and I still feel like this dress is just randomly, oh, like it definitely fits like either a medium or a large. So it's a little unfortunate just because I feel like this dress could be so cute, but it's just not like nearly as form fitting as I would want it to be. Like I really would want it to be like this. I probably will still pack it because it was one of the things I picked up specifically for this trip because I won't be able to wear something like this unless I did like a long sleeve shirt under it and maybe even tights like I wouldn't be able to wear something like this till probably end of April really not as like form fitting as I would hope it to be but anyway I did want to show you guys my other stuff from my box this month so I rented I actually got two bonus items this month because there was an, a mistake with one of the items I had last month and it was unwearable so so newly added two bonus items into my account which was really nice so I got to rent eight things this month instead of six for the same price as six which was really great because since I was going on vacation this month I got to pick a few more things that I normally would for like um, spring summer pieces and then I did rent two coats things that are more for the weather we're having here I'm not going to show you guys the coats right now just because they're downstairs and they're not stuff that I'm going to be packing for my trip and that's kind of what I wanted to show you. I rented this dress which I think is so beautiful. I actually haven't tried this on yet. Um, I've tried on some of my stuff but hopefully this fits. I did end up getting a medium in this. It's from Aster the label and I really like a lot of their pieces. This is super pretty and I thought this would be just great for like a dinner. We're just going to be doing like dinners and stuff at the resort for the most part so I thought that would be really pretty. This is something a lot more casual that I've been eyeing um, for a while now. It's been in my closet. I really like the back. It's just this casual fun um, top that says freshly picked fruits. It's from Urban Outfitters and I just think it's cute. I feel like it's a good vacation type shirt. Like it would be good over a bathing suit with some denim shorts so I think that, that is kind of the outfit I'll go for with this piece. This is something that is, I love this. I just tried this on and it does barely fit it. This is something that I got a small in that I probably should have gotten a medium and then this was something that I guess I should have gotten an extra small, which is not my size, but I'm gonna write in the review of this that I personally think it fit about two sizes too big um, to hopefully help out other people. I do usually have pretty good luck with picking my size, like. If it's just like picking a medium or a small this did fit but it's quite tight in the top area it's like right around my boobs so I will still wear this on the trip and I love it but it's just gonna be a little bit tight but this is so so gorgeous I've had this also in my closet for quite a while just waiting to rent it for like spring or summer this butterfly dress it's a lilac super light purple color and it's so beautiful and this will be so fun to wear and i definitely want to try and take a picture when i wear this because this is just such a pretty like vacation dress i feel like these i wore the other night you guys saw the pleather faux leather pants a medium and i think that was probably a good choice the small probably would have been a little tight and these fit pretty good so i might pack these i'm not sure i feel like i could wear these with like a dinner outfit but i definitely wouldn't wear these during the day in mexico it'll be too warm and then this is something that i'm probably not gonna pack but i rented just for like date nights in boise and to wear i just never get blazers like i don't own a single blazer it's something i would rather like definitely rent than wear all the time but this one it just caught my eye it's from the brand hutch which i rented a ton of stuff from hutch before i love it and it's half pink half red as you can tell and it's super cute it is oversized pretty oversized so i'll say i got a small and people said that it ran large so i could have even gotten an extra small you guys can kind of tell compared to me it definitely runs on the larger side um but i feel like this over a simple black dress or like black pants just something simple underneath because this is kind of the statement would be really pretty so i'm probably not going to pack this for my trip but i did want to show you guys it because it was one of my rental pieces this month i will link all those items i just showed down below if any of you guys want to check them out um, and i have a ten dollars off newly invite as well it's a link not a code so it's always in the description box down below and it will be 
in this video too. Now let's head to my bedroom. That's where I'm doing my packing and getting stuff out of my closet and pack up and finalize some outfits because I still feel very like, I don't know what my outfits are going to be. So I want to figure it out. Okay guys, this is the current state of packing. I actually still have an empty suitcase, but I feel like I have made a lot of progress because I've been planning my outfits. And so I have my shoes laid out. I don't think I'm going to pack all these. I think I'll definitely pack these first too. These are some of the sandals I wanted to show you guys that I just got in the mail today that I wasn't even expecting to. I thought they were going to come when I came back home, but they're from Aloha's and they're pretty cute. I tried them on. They fit pretty good. So I might bring these. I need to look at my outfits more and just kind of see because these will be like my pool shoes. One of my going out slash dinner shoes. These would probably be another like daytime shoe, which would be probably good to have and then I'll probably decide between these for just like a fun other nighttime going out shoe I'll probably do these I'm leaning towards the white cowgirl boots just because it's fun but these are another choice I just need to look at my outfits and see what would look better but I'm thinking probably the cowgirl boots it's always hard to narrow down shoes for me personally but I think four seems acceptable more acceptable than five i have a good amount of daytime and dinner and night outfits i think i will pack this dress just because i did get it for this trip and i mean it doesn't look horrible it just doesn't fit as nicely as i would want it to but it's not the end of the world so i'm gonna pack that dress that daytime outfit i showed you guys um this dress this is like these fun pants that are just so cute with a simple top and then the leather pants with a cute little white top for dinner. I thought that would be a super cute dinner outfit with like the nude shoes. This is just a pile of like basic stuff that I'll probably pack just cause it would be good to have for like the flight. It's just like some shorts and stuff I can wear over my bathing suits and some black and white tank tops that I think would just be good because I can match it with anything. Or This is if we do end up like going out one night, which I don't know if we will. I think this is what I'll wear. It's a little cute um, crop top and black skirt. Uh, I don't think I'm going to pack this stuff because it was an option, but it's just it hasn't gone with anything yet. I probably will bring my hat because I think I'll miss it if I don't. This is another uh, daytime into nighttime outfit. And then, yeah, just what I showed you guys before. So I feel pretty good about the outfits. I feel like I might be struggling a little bit with daytime stuff, but we're probably just going to be wearing our swimsuits anyway, which, by the way, all my swimsuits I packed into my biggest packing cube. And then I have like bras, socks, and underwear in my other two packing cubes. So now I'm going to put everything in my actual suitcase and see how much room we have left. I'll probably try to pack shoes first. Okay, we've already got a tight squeeze, so I'm definitely glad I decided to pack in my checked bag because I was considering trying to fit everything in a carry-on and I just, it's just pointless because on the airlines I'm flying, I get to check my bag for free anyway, so I'd much rather just be able to not be stressed about what I'm packing. But anyway, this is all the clothes. There's a little bit of room in here to like shove. Maybe I'll shove like my hair stuff or something i haven't put anything in this i realized i usually put my like bras and undies in this one but i didn't do that this time this side definitely could use some work i try kind of just like shoved the shoes and then my packing cubes but we could definitely fit some more over here so hi guys i just got out of the shower i'm like 95 percent on my packing the 
toiletries bag will go in in the morning probably because I have like my hairbrush and toothbrush and stuff like that. Here's the final look. I have my plane bag, which I'll take downstairs to actually finish filling that up because I have some stuff down there. And then I'm just bringing a couple hair stuff and my makeup bag and then the clothes I showed you guys before. And then I just put like a jacket in this little bell that I'm gonna bring for the room. It says it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> and I just have some pajamas that I put in here and pretty much everything else is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog so I can finish up editing it and get it up for you guys. Thank you guys as always for watching. Sorry if I seemed a little stressed today. I just always get a little stressed like a day or two before going out of town because like I said I just kind of always feel like there's a lot to do before going out of town and just packing stresses me out and I'm always trying to upload a video before I leave town and so there's just like a lot and I don't mean for that to come off but it probably did because I've just been feeling that way yesterday and today but as of tomorrow I can finally relax and I will and I'm going to just be enjoying my girls trip. Thank you guys as always for watching. If you want to check out more content from me, I have a new video up on my Patreon. If you guys want to check that out, it's always the first link in the description box down below. And I'll see you guys pretty soon in my next video. Bye.